Hi friends, welcome to Ofast Studies YouTube channel. This is part 22 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to update any mount point if you created in Azure Databricks using update mount command. In our past videos, we have discussed about what is mount point. We have discussed about how to list down the available mounts and also we have discussed about how to refresh mounts and there are a lot of other commands we have discussed, right? So this is continuation to those videos. In this video, we are going to discuss once you create any mount point with some name, how to update it. So firstly, what is mount point? Mount point is nothing but like a, uh, a, a point through which you are attaching some external storage with the Databricks file system. So once you attach any external storage with the Databricks file system, then from that point of the time, you can access that storage as if you are accessing some local files, right? All this we have discussed in our previous videos. And uh, all the videos in my playlist are in the sequence order too. So I would strongly encourage you guys to watch all the videos in the sequence order one by one so that you will get most of out of it. So let's continue this video. So update mount point is nothing but uh, as I said it is going to update the existing mount point. So let's assume a mount point is pointing to some ABCD folder. Now in future you want to make sure that mount point to point to another folder called maybe data folder. Then you can use this update mount point a function and our command to do that how i am going to practically show you now so this is similar to the mount command only so if you have seen my previous video you know the mount command right so in which in this uh, mount command you, you usually give the source location path that means the path of the storage account and also you will give a name to the mount point and also you will give some authentication configurations such as maybe account key of the storage or maybe sas token all that information right so same way for the update mount function also you have to supply the source path and the mount point name and also the configuration details and only condition is whatever the mount point you will be using in the update mount function that mount point should be already created that's that's when it will work right or else it won't make sense right if a mount point is already exist then we are trying to update that mount point right if that mount point is not exist at all then there is no point of updating it right so it won't make any sense so that's why you need to remember the mount point which you are using inside the update mount function that mount point should be exist so all this if it is not making sense at this moment let me go to uh, uh, databricks workspace and let me practically show you this so this is my databricks workspace i have a, a, a one notebook which i am using from the past few videos which is called testing mount so let's let's open this uh, notebook and in this notebook let's try to discuss about update mount point function so this notebook is a python notebook uh, we have already attached this notebook with a demo cluster and we have used this code previously to create a mount point and if you see this is creating a mount point to this location in the folder and this is the name this is the name of the uh, mount point what we are using here and here we are using authentication information so if you see here inside this dictionary this key is actually the key in which case you will use a account key as a authentication so since this is account key related key so i need to supply the account key value for this dictionary key for for that storage actually so if you see this path so this is the storage name and this is the container name right all this you know and this path right now it is pointing to sample container in a storage and a data folder so let's try to open this storage blob storage mahir and then let's go to this sample container folder and let's go to data folder and see what is there so in another tab i have already opened here see there is a sample container folder and a data folder so inside this folder i have employees.csv file so now for this location we are creating a mount point with this name mnt slash blob storage so once i create a mount point from that moment i can use this mount point name to access that folder and not only that folder inside that folder if anything is there then from this point of time uh, you, i can use a mount point and then slash put the extra location for example i want to access the employees.csv file then i should use slash mnt slash blob storage slash employees.csv right so that's what it will do right so let's practically do that so let me hit shift enter button to execute this command that will create a mount point here mount point created successfully now since I cre already created a mount point, I am using this Databricks file system ls command to list down the content inside the mount point. That means to list down the content inside the data folder. So inside the data folder, we have only one file, employees.csv file, right? Let's see whether that will happen or not. Let me hit shift enter here to execute this command. And if you see the output here, it is listing down employees.csv file. Everything is fine. Now let's assume for some reason, you want to make use of this mount point, but 
to be pointed to a different location that means here it is pointing to a data folder now maybe let's assume my requirement is i want to update that mount point and make sure that mount point points to this input folder how to do that so in that case what you will do you will use instead of mount command you will use update mount command so let me hit uh, shift control space to get the intelligence see here update mount is the command name to this command also you need to supply the source mount point name and the extra configurations and only thing is you need to make sure this mount point is already there and here give the path so now uh, what i'm trying to say this mount point should point to a different folder called input so that's why i changed the location here now i i used the same mount point name because that is what i want to update now let me hit shift enter button to execute this command and see whether this uh, mount point will get update or not so let's wait for the command to execute here command executed successfully now now if i execute this command previously it given employees.cc file right why because previously this mount point pointed to the data folder but now we are pointing to input folder so that command should give demo.json file so let me see that so in a new cell let me use that to command here file system ls command and i am using a mount point name let me hit shift enter to execute this cell see now i got a output called demo.json but previously i got a output called employees.csv that means now mount point got updated and now it is pointing to input folder and that's why we got demo.json right so that's how it will work so for example let's try to use a mount point which is not available so first so mount slash blob storage 2 is not available right so let me make sure uh, how to know whether uh, what mount points is already available what you can do db this dot file system dot there is something called mounts command if you execute this this is going to give you the available mount points so all these are system mount points like already available and this is the mount point which we created so there is no mount point card mnt slash blob storage 1 or 2 something like that right so i am using a mount point name which is not available and using it inside a update mount function so this is should file why because this mount point itself is not available so what to update right so let me hit this shift enter to make sure this is giving error or not see we are giving error and it is saying mount point does not exist that means we need to make sure mount point should be available whenever you are using this update mount function so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea like uh, how to create a mount point and how to work with the mount points if you have seen all my previous videos and this video especially talked about how to update the mount point right thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.